Hi, I'm Cindy Combs with Light First Photography. I have been a professional photographer for 10 years and have helped thousands of homeowners just like you to capture their home's unique personality. Today we're going to go ahead and look at some tips on how to stage your home to make them look best for photos. We're going to take a look at this home, so let's get started. First impressions are lasting ones. So the last thing that you're going to want for your most important photo are weeds. If you need gardening tools in a pinch, you can use scissors and forks. I'm totally kidding. I'm sure if you have children that you have bikes and scooters all over your yard. But for photographs, let's go ahead and put them in the garage. Do you still have Christmas decorations up? If you do, let them go. Let them go. Put your Christmas decorations away. While listing your house, it's best to keep wreaths and decorations inside and out generic. Speaking of Christmas, if you're selling your home during the winter months, you may be concerned that your grass and trees are not green. Don't be. Potential buyers need to see the current state of the home to know that it was just put on the market. One more thing you can do out here is plant flowers and do some gardening. Orange and red flowers and plants really pop in photos, and it can give your home awesome curb appeal. Okay, let's go inside. Here we are inside the house. Now the first thing that we do at light first is we turn on the lights. Now a couple of days before your photo shoot, you're going to want to go through, turn on the lights in every room, and look for any burned out bulbs. A burned out bulb can really ruin a photo. So, whenever you go to show the house, or for your photos, remember light first. Now let's continue our tour. The first stop of our tour is the living room, which is one of the most important features of your home. Let's talk about home decorations. Now one of the most important rules to remember is groups of threes and fives. A lot of people have magazines in their living rooms and when you have more than three or five it starts looking very messy. So this is a great time to take out any magazine subscriptions you don't want people to know about. Now, if you have children, you probably have toys in your living room. However, when a buyer comes to look at your house, a lot of times they're going to think something else in the house is messed up when they see those. So my suggestion is to take a basket, whoa, there's one, and narrow it down to your kids' favorite toys and put those in the basket. Also, if you have items like blankets, you can fold those up, put them in the basket, then take your kids' favorite toys, put those in the basket, then when it comes time for showings or photos, you can go ahead and hide that basket in the laundry room. Now let's talk about your mantle. Does it look cluttered? If so, you're going to want to narrow it down to three to five items. Speaking of threes and fives, candles can add a lot of warmth to your room as well as yummy smells like chocolate chip cookies. Yum. As far as pillows go, well, let's talk about those later. Come join me in the eating space. you're going to want to be sure to sweep and mop. The best time to do this is either the night before the photo shoot or the morning of. As far as centerpieces go, you're going to want to be sure to remove salt and pepper shakers and leave just one or three items like a plant. If you have extra items, you're going to want to be sure to hide them in the garage or a storage unit. For the final tip in here, you're going to want to try to center the table and the centerpiece under the light for the best photos. Now let's move on to the kitchen. one room in their house that makes them go. <sighs> Kitchens can often be one of these rooms that get messy without you even trying. Before listing your home, try assigning simple chores like doing dishes for every day of the week. We understand that you may have bills and important papers that you use on a daily basis. For these, it's best to get an organizer that you can easily remove. One of my most common jokes is, less is more, unless we're talking about a bachelor pad. Try leaving only a few items, like a plant, in your daily appliances. This shows off the countertops and makes the room look bigger. 
One of the most common things I see are refrigerators that are covered in magnets and papers. Be sure to remove these and only leave an emergency contact list if absolutely necessary. Also, be sure to remove everything off of the top of the fridge. Next stop, game room. Game rooms are that multi-purpose room that can be used as a family room, kids' playroom, office, and much more. For now, it's best to treat it like a living room and remove extra items and kids' toys. If this is not possible for everyday life, it's best to stash those items in the closet or garage for your photos, as they will be the first impression for 90% of all potential buyers. If you have shelves or entertainment centers, be sure to remember our three rules. One, less is more. Two, the rule of threes and fives. Three, depersonalize by taking down family photos, papers, kids' artwork, and awards. Also, this is a great time to dust, as these areas often get overlooked. One more thing that we're going to want to cover in here and throughout the house is removing pet items. Oftentimes, homeowners will dedicate a room like the laundry room to their pets during the listing process. If your pets are like family, I completely understand. Charlie goes with me pretty much anywhere that I can take him. However, oftentimes when people see pet items, they are concerned about smells, allergies, and messes. So it's best to stash those items for now. Also, this is a great time to talk about vacuuming, as it can make your house look clean and your photos look great. Now the pillows, let's talk about those later. On to the bedroom we go. To talk about the bedroom. in the master bedroom, which we know is normally a very personal area to you, but for right now, we're going to want to depersonalize. For any dressers or nightstands, take down your personal items and decorate like we've been talking. Do you remember our three rules? <coughs> Another thing to consider is hiding any cash, watches, jewelry, electronics, and electronic cords. As these items are so personal, it's our policy to never ever touch them. Speaking of things that we never want to touch, <laughs> please do your laundry, or at least hide it for the photos. And now, we're going to talk about these. Be sure to fluff pillows throughout the house, as messy pillows can really ruin a shot. Now, for your bedspread, you're either going to want to tuck it in neatly, or pull it to the edge to cover the sheets. Now I have a riddle for you. What can be smelly, messy, and one of the major selling points of your home? Products and brushes and razors, oh my. Here we are in the bathroom, which is one of the messiest rooms in the house. Now if you have products, you're going to want to go ahead and take those, put them in a basket, and stash them underneath the counter for now. As far as decorations go and what you're leaving out, you want to go ahead and leave a plant and then a couple of bottles of perfume or cologne, and that's going to give you the best look. Another place that you're going to want to be aware of products is in the shower. Be sure to keep them to a minimum and neatly arranged, or you can put them in an organizer and remove them for the photos. Also, be sure to take out the trash on a regular basis. Now the best place to put the trash can is back in a corner where it's rarely going to be seen. Be sure to fold your towels, and if you have a lot of them, be sure to narrow them down to just a few. Now one last thing to review in here is to be aware of any glass. Wipe down your mirrors and keep your shower as clean as possible. Okay, on to the last room of the house. in a secondary bedroom, which is one of the least important photos of the house, so we're not going to spend a lot of time in here. Mostly, people just want to see the size of the room. So we're going to go over two things. One, if you have children's toys or extra items, go ahead and stash those in a closet or storage unit for now. The second thing is the bedspread. Be sure to wash sheets in the bedspread a couple days ahead, and then the day of the photo shoot, make sure that it's nice and neat, everything's tucked in, and looks great. Now, let's move on to the last stop of our tour. <laughs> it's 
it's a jungle out here. Oftentimes your listing agent is going to want photos of the backyard, so it's best to mow and be prepared. You're going to want to treat the backyard like any room in your home. Remember the golden rule of staging, less is more. Also, if you have large items, be sure to either hide them in a corner or put them in the garage for now. We hope this video was helpful. To recap what we covered today, be sure to download our checklist for free at lightfirst.com or click the link below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.